皆さんこんにちは。ANA 広報部の吉田です。この動画では ANA が就航する海外都市の今をお届けします。今回はオペラハウスが有名なシドニー。どうぞ。Good day and welcome to Sydney, Australia. こんにちは。ANA シドニー支店のデニスとしのぶです。In this video, we will quickly show you what Sydney is like up until the 1st of October and how we are living in these unprecedented times with COVID-19. For the past three months, Sydney has been in a state of lockdown. In order to combat the increased spread of the Delta variant, the New South Wales government had implemented a stay at home order as well as a lockdown in certain local government areas, otherwise known as LGAs. As you can see here, the New South Wales government released daily updates on social platforms to inform residents of the latest COVID situation. In addition to the stay at home order, additional rules, such as the following, were set to avoid the further spread of the virus until a 70% target of double vaccinated citizens was achieved. Vaccination and COVID testing facilities have now become more readily available. Testing facilities such as these drive through and pop up locations usually require no booking. You can easily walk in to do a test after a quick application process. The results are quickly available by email or text message to your mobile device. Results are usually released within 24 to 48 hours after testing. Large vaccination clinics. Such as this one from Sydney Olympic Park, accommodate for a large amount of vaccinations to residents. Look for the COVID Safe QR code when you arrive at the venue. Open the Service New South Wales app on your mobile phone and follow the COVID Safe check in prompts. Hover your phone camera over the QR code until your check in is confirmed. Show a staff member that you have checked in. Your information will be kept for 28 days and only released by Service New South Wales for official contact tracing. It's easy and it's COVID safe. In order to accommodate the lockdown, many workplaces conduct work from home and only leave for the workplace if necessary. As you can see, there are a lot less people now travelling to work and in the streets. For the time being, during the lockdown, Only essential shops may open, whilst others are to be restricted to offer pickup options such as click and collect. Lockdown has made common leisure activities difficult, however, many have taken the opportunity to visit a nearby beach or enjoy bushwalking activities within regulation limits. As you can see, Sydney Airport is still quite quiet with only few airlines operating at the moment. We look forward to the opening of international travel and we hope to see you here in Sydney real soon. Inspiration of Japan.